guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new for today's video i have a empties video if you're new here i pretty much just film these videos whenever this bag gets full so it happens to be well it's not that full but i figured i should just film this i haven't filmed one in a while so i guess this is like my spring summer empties i don't even remember at this point but let's just get into it so the first thing i have here is one of these uh sponge LA, um body wash infused buffer this is you know those things you always get in boxy charm or ipsy it's like a, a sponge that has cleanser already in it um this was honey blossom i didn't love the smell of this one uh, but I do kind of like this product for what it is. It does last pretty well. I think it says, um, does it say on here? It usually says the number of uses. I don't know. I thought it, I don't know. For some reason I thought it was six, but I definitely get more than six uses out of these. And it just says multi-use. Yeah, so I wouldn't buy this scent again, but if I ever saw these in the store, maybe for like travel or something, like a, if you're going away for like two weeks, this would be something good to have because once the there's no more soap in it, like you just throw it out. So yeah, that's that. Um, then I have a shampoo. It's actually just a mini, but this is the way detox shampoo for all hair types i use this well i was using this like once every two weeks ish maybe less um really i just use this when i feel like my hair is like really dirty or i've put like too much dry shampoo in it this just helps to really cleanse the hair and it does feel really clean afterwards so i really like this I would get the full size of this, but I also have the exfoliating shampoo from Briogeo. The one, like the coconut oil or whatever. So I don't feel like I need to have two. And I'd rather use that one first because it doesn't seem to last as long. Like it separates in the tub, if you know what I'm talking about. So maybe later on Sunday I would purchase this again. But that mini lasted me like a year. I want to say, I think I hauled that in like, not this past year, but the year before the spring VIB sale, I think. Um, then I have, okay, boring toothpaste, but I have to <laughs> always remind you that the Crest 3D White, Glamorous White, I just feel like this is the best whitening toothpaste I don't know if it's working so well for me as much as it used to I don't know what's going on am I just drinking too much coffee and tea because I feel like this used to be even better for me or maybe they changed something for a while I couldn't find this in Quebec at least so I don't know I am still using this now a different tube of course but that's my favorite that I found so far in case you're wondering um i do have some like single use masks these two are beauty bio bright eyes depuffing and brightening eye gels i don't love these i'm trying to use them up the first thing i don't like is that they're all individually packaged and it's just like always a mess getting them out there's like a tray and then you have to separate it and it's all like you're touching everything and then you're putting it on your eye and i do find these like dry out really fast on my at least on my skin um so they're not my favorite my favorite eye patches are peter thomas roth right the gold ones that's who they're by but I never buy them because they're like way too expensive. <laughs> but whenever I get them on like a sale or in some kind of kit, I do love those ones. So I wouldn't buy these again. I don't, I didn't even buy these. They came in a boxy charm, I believe. And I think I'm almost done with those anyway. 
And then this also was from a BoxyCharm a pack. So I have more of these, I think. This is the Give Them Lala Skin Stay Calm Soothing Sheet Mask. Um, I don't remember anything like special about these. It says aloe infused. They're probably just good to use like if you're out in the sun too long or you just want like a refresher. Yeah, it says soothe and soften your skin in a flash. So there's those. I think Give Them Lala is from Vanderpump Rules, I wanna say. I don't, I've never seen that show, but I heard someone else say that. Uh, this was the body wash I was using before and since I'm trying to, I've been trying to use up my soap bars but I, I realized I don't love using soap bars so I did get a new shower gel which you saw in my last haul but this is what I was using before and yes I just remembered the packaging. <laughs> This is the Bella Floor Skin Renewing Body Wash from Sol de Janeiro. De Janeiro, I don't know. Um, I love the smell of this, but this type of formula has no business being in this packaging. It's like an extremely thick cream. It was so hard to get out of this. I had to keep it upside down at all times. And even then, like I constantly had to do this, just try to get the product out. So I would not repurchase this, unfortunately, unless they change the packaging. I'm honestly surprised like nobody caught that on before. Like, don't they like test formulas in the packaging? I don't know. But there is like the other kinds that you can get that aren't the cream. Like I think the, what's the other one called? That's like a, like a deep pink. I don't remember, but that one was a gel. So that one was fine in this packaging, but yeah, not the cream. So don't get the cream one. It actually doesn't even say that it's a cream on this packaging. It only says on the back, this creamy daily body wash. And the other ones are gel, so yeah. Just a warning about that. Unless you wanna put it, if you really, really want that scent, put it in like a different kind of packaging. Oh, speaking of soap bars, this is the one I am almost used completely. This is the Attitude Leaves Bar. It says plastic free beauty body soap in sandalwood. It has olive oil and coconut oil. And I do like this. I just am not a soap bar person. I really prefer a shower gel that I can use on my loofah or whatever it's called. Um, but I did like the smell of this. And it, does, it did work like even though it's a soap bar, it really lathered a lot and it, my skin does feel nice. So <laughs> I just, I don't know. Is there like a tool that you can get for using up soap bars? I feel like there might be like some kind of glove. I might need to look into that because I have other soap bars to use. I have one essential oil from what I can see so far. This is lemon. Um, this is probably my most used essential oil because I mix it in my diffuser, but I also mix it in like when I'm cleaning. Um, yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. <laughs> but yeah, finished one of those full size. I also finished this Ren Glow and Protect Serum. I got this in a boxy charm. I'm pretty sure. And I think I really did like this. What was it meant to do? I don't even know what this was supposed to be. Like, I guess, um, like it was supposed to even out your skin. It just says radiance. But I think there's vitamin C in it because it was, um, it said, if using AM, please follow up with SPF and store out of direct sunlight. So usually that's what products with vitamin C say. So yeah, I didn't think that was doing anything for me, but my cousin came to visit and she was like, what are you using? Your skin is so even. 
and I was like, oh, is it? <laughs> Maybe it is that. I still don't, I'm still not sure, but I liked it anyway. It didn't do anything bad, so. Oh, here's an exciting product. My MTVDL Lumi Layer Primer Fresh. I was trying to use this up for years, finally did. So that's an MT, a full-size primer from my collection. I have lots of mascaras here. Well, three so far. And it's just, whenever I get rid of mascara, it's not necessarily that it's an empty. It's that it got too old, or dried up, or it started flaking, so I just toss it. This one is the They're Real Magnet. I think this is the one that was really hard to take off, but I liked it. Um, this one I didn't even get to use. It was completely dried when I went to open it. Like, there's no product on there <laughs> and I don't even really know anything about this brand I think it was beauty for certain BFC it's from a boxy charm and then my Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk push-up lashes in dream pop that's the berry brown shade this one just got way too dry I also was not loving it towards the end I feel like it was bringing out the redness in my eyes and it was not flattering so I'm not gonna repurchase that one. Oh, this is what I was trying to tell you about before. So if you want to get the shower gel from Sol de Janeiro, get the get this one. I don't know if it's called Rio Dio in the shower gel, but it's this color. Um, so this is the deodorant. This is my favorite deodorant. I am using this deodorant right now, but I'm gonna go back to this one because I I don't know. I just like this one. It's Black Amber Plum and Vanilla Woods. And I do love the fragrance of this one too. I just love Vanilla Woods in general. So yeah, so finish that one. You can get refills of this, but it's only a dollar cheaper. So I'm like, what kind of incentive is that to get a refill? Like I'm just gonna get a new one and have a new bottle that's not been used for months, you know? I don't know, maybe that's just me. Um, I also finished this Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Resurfacing Micro Exfoliant. I always use an exfoliant in the shower, um, so I go through exfoliants pretty quickly because I use them every day. I know that's not really what you're supposed to do, but it works for me. I have super dry skin. If I don't exfoliate, you will literally see like dead skin falling off my face, so have to exfoliate. Um, I don't remember loving this. I don't know, I can't think of like something specific about it, but I do know Juice Beauty in general is like pretty pricey for what it is. Like I feel like they're like, oh, we're organic so we can charge you double, which I don't believe in. So <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't repurchase that, but I got that in, I guess, a boxy charm. Oh, here's my, my beloved Shiseido facial cottons that I am no longer buying because I I think these are $17 now. Let me check. I haven't actually looked in a while. Maybe the price went back down because they realized that's ridiculous for cotton pads. Nope, they're still $17.50 Canadian for cotton pads. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not doing it. And so right now I'm using the Quo ones. If you're Canadian, you know, those are Quo is like our drugstore brand. They sell it at, well, I'm in Quebec, so it's Pharma Pre, but everywhere else in Canada, it's Shoppers Drug Mart. Um, you can get like the same kind of style. It looks the same, like it comes in this kind of bag. They're the same shape, but unfortunately, I don't find they're the same quality. I really do prefer these ones, but I'm not spending $18 plus tax on cotton pads. It's just, it's not happening. So yeah, maybe if those go on sale at some point, I'll stock up. But even at 20% off, they're still 
almost double the price of what they used to be so I don't think that's worth it. Um, then I have another eye mask, the Sephora Caffeine Eye Mask. I think I liked this, I don't remember. It just, I take too long to film these videos that I don't remember a lot of things, but I do know I like the Sephora masks in general, so I probably liked that one. Oh, here's my fragrance, the Rio, Rio Dio, Rio Dio, um, but in the fragrance it's called 40, which is very confusing. Just call it all the same name. But yeah, Black Amber, Vanilla Woods, I love this. This is my favorite one of their sprays. Um, right now I'm using the original, the, the, you know, the yellow one. I don't remember the name. Oh, more mascaras. This uh, Salute to the Sun Oma Beauty Mascara. I think I didn't get to use this much because it flaked too much on me. Because, yeah, the formula is still good, but I'm guessing it just was very smudgy. If, yeah, I think that's what it was. It was smudging under my eye, and I just... That just doesn't make sense to have a mascara smudge. Like, I'd rather just not wear mascara. <laughs> and then this one, I liked this, the Tartlet Tubing Mascara. But it just got too old, and it started flaking, so that's going. But I would... I would purchase that one, I think. <sighs> My memory's terrible. Oh, I have another Glamour Swipe. See, they did change the packaging. So maybe that's what I'm... I don't know. <laughs> um, is this... Okay, another Beauty Bio. So I think I probably only have two of those left. Or maybe one. Oh, this... Okay, this actually, I put this in the empties bag today because my Urban Decay primer potion, it just went off like all of a sudden. I did not, I wasn't expecting that. I have had this for several years and it was working fine until today I went to put it on and it was like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like gummy and like dry. And I even did use it because I was like, well, I don't have another one <laughs> open right now. And it was not like blending on my eye. So I guess that just expired on me, which I didn't even know was possible. Um, I do have another primer somewhere I'll have to look for it and it's not that one it's probably from a boxy charm and I think it has a tint so I'm hoping I like it um, oh another toothpaste this is the thieves um, whitening toothpaste this is the same company that I get my essential oil from um, I do okay I don't hate this but I feel like it does not whiten my teeth but I like it for the fact that it's like essential oil infused, plant-based, no peroxide, blah blah blah. But I just wish it really whitened better. So, yeah, not, well, not for now I'm going to repurchase that one. Um, oh, this is exciting. <laughs> Even though it's a sample, I did finish my Toka Julieta and I did really like this. This is a really nice, like, was it? Yeah, it's like a spring, like a very fresh floral, but not, not too florally, like just really fresh. I do like this. I would repurchase this actually. Um, what else is in here? A hand cream. This is the Aveda Hand Relief um, with Champier Aroma. This one, I love Champier. It's just... Yeah, it takes me back because I used to work at Aveda and as soon as you walk in there, like this is what you smell forever for like the rest of your life. So <laughs> I did really like this one. I do like the hand relief um, cream. This was in my purse, the mini one, and I finished it. 
Um, this was the sunscreen I was using, the Super Goop Glow Screen SPF 40. I did really like this, but I, um, I found that I prefer to have my SPF just be an SPF, like not a glowy product because I always, I don't know, I feel like when it's glowy, it's just not the same. And some days you just don't want to be glowy. Like you just want your SPF on. And if you're going to wear makeup anyway, you're going to add stuff on top. So your sunscreen doesn't need to be glowy. Anyway, and I found the one that I'm using now, the Belief Aqua Balm SPF 50. Like I love that one because it's a moisturizer and an SPF. And with this one, I was having to use this as an extra step, like on top of my moisturizer. So yeah, I wouldn't repurchase that one. But if it comes in like a kit or, you know, like a sample, I would use it. And then I have finally <laughs> this. This is the Laneige um, lip mask, the bare, like the original one. All the writing wore off because this is ancient. Like I was using this at my old condo even. I finally finished it, so that's exciting. I am using a full size one now, the gummy bear scent, which is fun. And I also finally finished this Alginist um, Complete Eye Renewal Balm. This is not even the full size and I've had this for years. It was in my travel bag though, so that's that has something to do with it because I don't actually travel that much. <laughs> Towards the end, I did move it from my travel bag to my like you know, skincare cabinet thing so that I could just use it up and I finally did. So that's exciting because I have so many eye creams to use. Um, but yeah, that was everything. So I mean, mostly just mascara and skincare, <laughs> but you know, um, I say this all the time, I don't wear makeup every day, so you're not going to see a lot of makeup empties on this channel, aside for when they expire, like my Urban Decay Primer Potion, <laughs> but yeah, so that was everything. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.